Assalamu alaikum guys once again welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today topic is very important in civil engineering but it's short so therefore you must watch this video from start to end and the topic is related with rcc column especially for those civil engineering students which are working on construction site and especially for non civil engineering people because they don't know how to design rcc column about a reinforcement detail and also its concrete technology etc so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video the topic is basic rules for design of rcc column by thumb rules thumb rules it's also called blind method because this is not a specific design but this is thumb rule it means that this is old method of construction so let's start first of all guys i will tell you about rcc column the first point use minimum fe 500 steel for rcc column because guys fe this is the yield stress or yield strength of steel in newton per mm square so it means 500 newton per mm square this is the tensile strength of steel so the steel strength should be 500 fe 500 steel should be used in rcc column this is by thumb rule right the second point use minimum 9 by 9 inch column column size okay you can see this is the top of the column and use minimum 9 by 9 inches size of column it should not be less than 9 by 9 inches in most of the construction i saw they used 6 by 6 inches column for block or for other structure but the column size should not be less than 9 by 9 inches okay the third point is in basic rules use minimum four numbers of steel use minimum four numbers of steel bars one two three four if you are using more than uh, four numbers for example six numbers or eight numbers so it's depend on the structure load and it's depend on the structure design but longitudinal bar should not be less than four numbers in square or rectangular column now guys come to its uh, concrete okay use also minimum m20 grade concrete m20 grade concrete use minimum and m20 grade concrete for rcc column by thumb rule what is the ratio of m20 grade concrete the ratio of m20 grade concrete is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 where one is cement and 1.5 is sand and uh, sand are fine aggregate okay and 3 is here coarse aggregate or crush you can see okay this is the uh, minimum m20 grade concrete should be used in rcc column now guys come to its reinforcement details especially for its lateral ties and also for its lapping length overlapping length okay guys use minimum minimum six millimeter minimum six millimeter dia of lateral tie lateral tie use minimum six millimeter dia of lateral tie you can see guys this is a lateral tie and its dia should not be less than six mm use minimum six millimeter dia of steel for lateral ties and guys come to its hooks okay so hooks length should be minimum 
थ्री इंचेस आर नाइनटी सो यूज मिनिमम आर कीप मिनिमम थ्री इंचेस ऑफ हुक्स एंड लेटरल ट्राइस आर यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला नाइनटी वेर डी एज डाया ऑफ लेटरल टाई विच इज सिक्स एम एम राइट गाइज यू कैन सी ऑल्सो द हुक्स आर बेंड विथ वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओके सो हुक्स शुड बी बेंड विथ वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट द हुक्स शुड बी बेंड विथ वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो इफ यू नॉट बेंड द हुक्स आर सेम लाइक दिस इफ इट बिकम लाइक दिस सो you will face more problems in its state structure design right guys now for longitudinal bars okay so use minimum 12 mm dia of longitudinal bar use minimum this longitudinal bars you can see it should be minimum 12 mm longitudinal bar dia and i've already discussed its lateral ties which should not be less than 6 mm use minimum 6 mm and come to its spacing guys at the end of the support in this lapping zone okay this is guys uh, not lapping zone this is zone and this is also the other zone okay so in the zone in the zone the lateral ties spacing should be minimum okay lateral ties spacing should be close in zone you can see in this zone okay are near at support so this is one support which is foundation and this is the other support near with slab okay so the lapping are the lateral ties spacing should be close in zone also in lower portion and also in top portion but at the mid it should be maximum at the mid it should be maximum in this point it should be maximum but at the base point and also at the top point it should be minimum now guys uh, come to its uh, lapping zone or lapping sorry so the lapping of the longitudinal bar should be with 50d where d is dia of steel bar longitudinal bar dia so the lap should be provide or we can get the lapping length with the formula of 50d then you can overlap one steel bar with other to the length of 50d so guys uh, also here is one other question when you are lapping so you will bend a bar in the lapping point here same like this so this slope should be One ratio six, okay. One steel bar should be bent for the lapping. So, guys, this is some important rules for design of RCC column by thumb rule. But this is not a specific design for uh, RCC column structural design and also for its concrete technology. Keep in your mind this is by thumb rule. If you have any question related with this topic, so you can comment. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.